Hey everyone, Kirby Fan here, back for another video of Kirby Month. Hope you've been enjoying. This one, I imagine, is much less of a big kind of bomb drop than Dreamland 2 was. But uh, here we go. This game for today is Extra Epic Yarn. Uh, going back to the Star Stacker video, I did not talk about that game very much because I kind of wanted to keep a lot of my thoughts about it kind of pushed away until I got to Superstar Stacker, a game that ranks, as you can tell by this point, a lot higher. And I kind of want to do the same thing with Epic Yarn. I mean, the big difference between um, those two and the Epic Yarn games is that Extra Epic Yarn actually had a decent amount added to it. It wasn't just kind of the story mode and a Dreamland 3-ish visual overhaul. There was actually a decent amount of stuff put into uh, Extra Epic Yarn. So I will mostly just be talking about those Anything I have to say about the game's visuals, or um, its music, the characters, story, gameplay elements, how it's how it's not a Kirby game, or how it is a Kirby game, whatever. Uh, most of that I'm going to save for the Epic Yarn video itself. But anything that I do bring up here is mostly just comparing Extra Epic Yarn to that game. And uh, this game is worse. This game is worse by a substantial margin. I still think it's okay. <laughs> Remember, I think it's okay but um, substantially worse. Uh, this is uh, a game that saw Epic Yarn, saw people complaining about it, tried to fix it, but didn't realize what made the original special, what made it stand out. Epic Yarn is not a game that is carried by its gameplay. It is one of those games that, you know, has the gameplay and there are ways to make the gameplay interesting, engaging. It's what made it uh, not just autopilot. What Extra Epic Yarn did was that it kind of forced in more gameplay e elements from the more action-oriented, normal Kirby games, so to speak. And it put them into a slow-paced game without changing anything about the slow-paced game. I don't like devilish mode. It goes against everything that Epic Yarn was supposed to be. It, they do not mesh. And the, the devil thing, the little bat, it's so easy to avoid, but it keeps showing up and it's so tedious and so annoying and the music changes every time he comes and it's this like five second loop and it ruins the great music of Epic Yarn. From the very beginning, this was a game that I thought was okay, which is technically not true actually. <laughs> when I first played Extra Epic Yarn, my, uh, my first impressions of the game were actually pretty negative. <laughs> Going through it, I, I kind of thought this might be my least favorite. <laughs> I thought Avalanche might have finally been dethroned. But the more I played, the more I got used to it, the more I was like, yeah, you know what? It's, it's still Epic Yarn. <laughs> it, it completely misses the point of what Epic Yarn is supposed to be, but it's still Epic Yarn, and that counts for something. I think the copy abilities are, um, I think they're a pretty lame addition too. Uh, I don't think they're as bad as Devilish Mode. It just kind of falls back to that whole, this game has no idea what made Epic Yarn so great deal. And it's not like the copy abilities in the main series where there's depth and complexity to how you use them. It's literally just, you hit, you hit buttons and things die around you. Because Epic Yarn isn't this kind of game. <laughs> Come on. Why was that so hard? I mean, you could choose to not play Devilish Mode. You could choose to not play with the copy abilities. But then just play Epic Yarn. It's cheap, it, it, even if you only, I want to buy games legally, I don't want to pirate, and Epic Yarn, I can't find it anywhere. Grab it on the Wii U, it's 20 bucks. <laughs> Which is cheaper, it's cheaper than what Extra Epic Yarn is! You're saving $20 getting it on the Wii U! And you're getting a game that looks a lot better and really understands what it wants to be. For what I like about Extra Epic Yarn, because I do feel like I've been ragging into it a little. This is what happens when I talk about Extra Epic Yarn. I do legitimately like it more than every game I've went over so far, but it's just something about it. Just, it annoys me. <laughs> but for what I do like about it, I do think uh, there's not much substantial to it, but the new Day-to-Day -day and Meta Knight little mini game modes, I think they're fun while they last. They're a good time. I prefer the Meta Knight one, but I think they're both a lot of fun. I enjoy, the, again, the fact that it's still Epic Yarn. I think the fact that they made it look, it's not like Epic Yarn where you feel like you could touch the screen and you'll be feeling cloth and fabric, but the fact that they still made everything look like it was made out of cloth and fabric in a more, you know, limited hardware sense, but still it looks like it's everything still crafted out of it is very impressive for the 3DS. 
I play this game on a vanilla 3DS, so the loading times were really long and it lagged really bad. But it still ran, um, and I think that's pretty impressive. I think if you play this game on a new 3DS and you don't have to worry about the lag, that's even better. Um, technically, this game is an achievement, and of course, we're in devilish mode. The great soundtrack is still there, uh, the charming story, uh, fun boss fights, things that I'll talk about in the epic yarn video. They're all here and accounted for, just in a game that's a lot more confused. That is Extra Epic Yarn. Thank you so much for watching. We are almost done. Um, there's only one or two uh, unscripted videos left. Then we're getting to the good stuff. So uh, I have been Kirby Fan. Thanks so much for watching and enjoying Kirby Month. I'll see you in whatever next video that's going to be covered. Take care. Look, it's mirror Kirby. It's mirror. This is good.